Hi, I'm Nadir Ansari and in this video we're going to talk about Drop Shadow and you can see that we have Drop Shadow in our project in here and everything has a depth to it. So without any further ado, let's begin. <laughs> So for that I want to add a project from my library. There is a basic platform game example in here. You can download it and import it but if you have a project already you can use that as well. I want to import it as a project so let's just save it as it is. And this is the project. Let's run it to see how it looks like. And you can see that this is our project and it doesn't have any shadow. So let's just go to our objects in here for all player one way to do it is like this if we create a draw event in here let's get rid of all of this comment we can say draw self right and it draw itself and now when we run it everything works fine so you can see we have this project we can have shadow in draw event how we can do it let me show you you can say draw sprite x to x and we should give it an sprite it should be an sprite that this O player use so we can say a sprite index and for the sub image you can see it down here for sub image we can say image index and for x you know that i want to draw a shadow so let's just shift it a little to right and a little down so what we can do we can say x plus 2 and y plus 2 as well and for x scale we can say image X scale in here and for Y scale again image Y scale as well and for rotation 0 for color we should use black and for transparency you know the shadow is transparent so let's just give it a 0.3 in here and that's it no over player have shadow let's run it I don't think that you can see the shadow in here but there is a shadow let's make it a little bigger so we can multiply it by something like this and let's again run it now you can see that we have the shadow for our player let's drag it to the right and down a little more and run it to see for you to see it clearly and you can see the shadow is here and everything works so whenever you have a object that has a sprite and you want to sh you want it to have shadow you can create this draw event and add these two line of code to that so let's just copy this to show you you can add it to this key in here as well so in draw draw so you just paste it and it works fine so let's just play it again and you can see that our keys has shadow as well but there is a better way to do this and that is surface we should use surface to create this cool shadow effects you can't just go through all of your object and add that line of course you can do it but it takes so much time and it will get a lot of errors and warnings so the better way to do it is surface what is surface surface is just a canvas that you can draw on it and after you draw on it you can draw it on the room you can draw it on the top of the room or behind the room or wherever you want and I will show you how you can do that so let's just close this and delete this draw went for our player and our key and let's just close this for the surface I want to create an object so let's just go to here call it obg shadow and let's add a draw event here get rid of all of this comment first of all we should create our surface so we can say surface create and it it need a width and height i want to give it a room width and height the height and this function if we tap middle mouse on it it will show us what it does and in return it give us a surface so let's put it on surf shadow so now we have our surface shadow that we can draw on it next thing to do we should set the draw to the surface so we can say surface set target so at the default this surface target is application service surface but we want to draw on our own surface that we created okay so that's why we say surface set target and we give it the surface that we created before and that's it for setting but after this our draw function should draw on application surface so at the end that we draw everything we should say surface reset target 
whatever you draw between these two function will be drawn on our surface and after that we can draw that surface in our room so let me show you how you can do that so i want to say with o player you know that with this function we can access all the player property so i want to use draw self on this o player object so it will draw it in our surface after we draw the player to our surface we can draw this surface by draw surface x and for the id i want to pass this surface that we created for the x and y if we say 0 and 0 it will be draw exactly at top of our room so let me first give it a 0 and 0 to show you how it works for the s scale i want to say 1 and 1 for rotation 0 for color i want to use black because the shadow is black so for the alpha 0.3 so now that we did this we can go to our room and add this obg shadow to our room so now let's just run it and you can see that our player is a little bit darker let me darken up a little bit more with increasing this alpha in here to something like 0.9 and you can see it clearly and you can see it now it will draw at the top of our application service or our room but we want it to be behind it and a little shifted to the right and down so let's just first shift it up a little bit with this x and y function you know that when we uh, put zero and zero in here it will draw our surface from top left corner to bottom right corner because we set the uh, the width and height of our surface to room width and room height so let's just shift it up shift it to the right uh, bottom a little bit like two and two run it again and you can see it will shift it a little bit so now we have this shadow but it's at the top of our application surface it should be behind that so how we can do that if you remember when we add it to our room we choose this layer in here and it's diff it's minus three but we should add it to the layer above all of everything else let me show you let's just create another instance and let's call it shadow and for the def i want to give it let me show you for the walls you can see that the def is zero for the player def is minus one for the uh, os spinner the def is minus two and so on so we wanted this shadow to have a def of one so it will be behind everything else so now that we change the diff, we can add this obg shadow to our shadow layer. We, now we can just delete that object that we add to diff of minus 3. And you can see that the shadow is behind our player. Let's again shift it a little bit more like 5 and run it again. And you can see the shadow is there. The alpha shouldn't be this much. I want to give it a 0.3. And again, let's shift it to the right right button a little bit more and now you can see that the shadow works fine now i want to show you how you can add this shadow effect to all of the objects in the room it's easy let's just close this and instead of say with the player we can say with all of the objects in the room draw itself but you shouldn't do that because uh, some object doesn't have a sprite in it so we should check if this object have a sprite on it or not so for that we can say if a sprite index is greater or equal to zero draw that to our surface shadow so now let's just run it and you can see all of our objects like key like walls like this spinner here all of them have the shadow and it's look cool right so what we done here is just we create a surface we draw everything that has a sprite and make it black and trans transparent and shift it to the right button but if you can shift it wherever you want and we add that object to our room and it has a cool shadow drop effect in our game so before we stop the video i want to tell you some something that you should do in this draw event because if you don't do it it gives you a lot of error so first thing first you shouldn't create this surface over and over again so what you should do you should go and add a create event and in here let's just copy and paste this self shadow in here and in here create this variable and 
give it a new one and after that in here we should check if surface if surface exists but we, we want to say if surface not exist after that create this surface not over and over again so we should create it once so that's how we do it you should always do this so let's just give it these brackets here and give it over surf shadow so it says if surface surf shadow doesn't exist create that so with that we prevent the creating our surf shadow over and over again another thing that you should do after you write all of this you should say surface free and give it the id it will free the ram and cpu so your game won't crash so this if a statement and this surface free should always be in your code because if you don't do it it will create our surf shadow over and over again and it don't free it and the ram will be filled and your game will crash so if we run it again everything works fine and it will create our surface just one time but you can see that it doing this it create and it stay there and it give us this blinking effect in here so we don't need that so what we should do in here after we set the surface we should say draw clear alpha why because we want to empty the surface because our player is moving so we should always empty our surface and draw it again so with the draw clear alpha we can do that you can give it a white color and the alpha should be zero now let's just run it and now you can see that we have this cool shadow effect and it won't give your game crash it looks cool i hope you like this video please hit that subscribe button like button bell button if you like thank you very much for watching bye <laughs>